What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. We're working on the Corvette today. We got a little bit of a problem we need to fix. It was a problem that I noticed while I was test driving this car and it became more and more apparent as I got closer and closer to home. It was about a 200 mile drive from where I picked the car up back to home uh, and it got annoying. And the problem of course is a noisy top. Now this is a common issue in Corvettes, particularly in the C6, so we need to address it. I've only had this top off once up to this point and that was just last week when i took my daughter for a quick little cruise around town we took it off had a little bit of fun but i noticed that the weather stripping is very very dry it's not cracked or chipped or or peeling or missing any pieces or anything but it is dry uh, and i noticed also the contact points are dry as well there's no lubrication of any kind i have some dielectric grease and a little bit of uh, like weather stripping moisturizer type stuff it's sort of like a waxy greasy compound i'll show you that but let's get in the car go around the block and just see if we can get sort of a, a before uh, video or before clip of this and see if we can pick some of that noise up on camera I'm starting to like this thing more and more every time i look at it the red is growing on me actually <laughs> Corvette issue and probably any Corvette with a removable top uh, seems to be an issue if you have a car with t-tops or anything of that nature too uh, they're always a little bit noisy they can be noisy so um, if you're interested in buying a Corvette or you have one and you have this problem maybe this video will be helpful for you today either making your decision buying a Corvette or you know giving you an idea of something to look out for uh, but also how to take care of it so let's get her pulled into the garage and see what we can do so this is only my second time ever removing a Corvette top. So if I do anything wrong, of course, let me know. I'm sure you guys are aware. Handles toward the front. Release those. And then, and of course, we have this one in the rear. A little thumb pusher here and this hand will do it kind of simultaneously. She comes loose. Now, I always put gloves on in this part removing anything and I should have done it the first time. Uh, I always wear gloves messing with the headliner at all uh, because even your dry skin can rub off, especially in dark headliners. And I didn't do it last time. And you can see, well, the, the, the light makes it worse than it is, but there, see, it's not quite so bad, but I'm gonna put some gloves on because I don't like touching the headliner with my bare hands, particularly if it's light, uh, but even if it's dark, not a good idea. Uh, obviously this is much easier if you have two people but I'm gonna show you how I've done it by myself. Now I just have a tire here on the ground with a towel covering it because we're going to have to work on this. Otherwise, I would just toss it in the back of the car. Oh, this is a nice little platform here. First thing we're going to do is just check these and make sure these are tightened down. Uh, there are torque specs available for these, so take a look at that. Um, then we're just, I'm just going to wipe all these edges down, just clean everything up. You can see there's a little bit of gunk and grime in there. I'll grease up the hinge and the hook and clean all of the rubbers here. They just, they feel dry. And then also put some moisturizer in all this. It looks like they've actually tried to put something in here, some felt or something. But we'll clean all this up, grease all this up, grease all the pins up, look at that. That doesn't help. So we'll tighten all these down, that one's tight. And do the same for in here. All of these areas are so dirty and this is so dry. So 
So just want to hit it with some moisturizer. Yeah, look at this. It's not cracked, but just dirty and dry. And we'll get some grease down in these little slots. And hopefully it makes a world of difference. So a couple of the things you're gonna use is the dielectric grease. I always have a little bit of dielectric grease around the small tube. It goes a long way, good for doing anything electrical wise or um, you know, doing coil packs or spark plug boots, things like that. Uh, this is stuff, it was good stuff to have in the garage always. And then I did pick up the lube stick here, uh, which will be perfect. It's sort of a waxy, greasy kind of feeling, but it shouldn't leave a lot of weird residue or anything. You just need a little bit. This is good to have too in the garage or around the house. It's good for wooden doors that are sort of rubbing on each other and creaking. Um, good for rubber, you know, door seals and things like that. So uh, this is good stuff, should, should work out well. I'm just using like a, a damp mic microfiber cloth and we're just gonna wipe everything down. particularly get in here because this just seemed like it caught a lot of junk. That's gross. Using the lube stick here. Kind of getting down in the groove. Actually, I'm just gonna get everything. It is so dry. Once you have it all done, I'm just gonna rub it in a little bit with my fingers. And I might wipe off any excess. Really dry. For the dielectric grease, I'm going to just put wherever there's metal to metal contact. It really doesn't take a lot, but we kind of gooped her in there. Same cleaning and moisturizing of the actual top. These guys are 15s. This one is super loose, 15 millimeter. Again, check the torque specs for yourself. I'm just gonna kinda put a little pressure on it. Double check this one good this one is oh, just a little loose change my glove because I had grease on the other one The only thing now is to drive it. Well, it's not completely gone, but it's a lot better. 
it's kind of going back and forth, kind of tweaking the car a little bit, and it's not making any noises. If I hit some bigger bumps around a cor corner, backing out of the driveway, it creaked a little bit, but not bad. Like I said, that weather stripping is really dry, so it might take a couple of applications before we get it much better, but for now, it's good. Let me know if you guys do anything different to fix your noisy top in your Corvette. Uh, otherwise, I have links in the description below to the two little products that I used today. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it was interesting. But I got more to come for this Corvette. I hope you guys will follow along. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.